50 centimos bawat mag-aaral kada araw. If you sp spend it for bond paper, 16 pesos will likely get you the same number of A4s at the corner Sari Sari store. If spent for internet load, 16 pesos can buy you data which won't even allow you to download half an episode of Ang Provinciano. This brings me to another reason why we should increase a teaching supply allowance. Teachers now need more buck for bytes because they have mountains and gigabytes of reports they have to submit. Mas marami pang homework ang nagtuturo kaysa sa tinuturuan. Computers ought to be tools of liberation technology. They have instead become instruments of digital enslavement. My years in Congress have taught me the value of compromise, that it would be better to go home with half a loaf of bread than none at all, that 50% of one is better than 100% of zero. But let me still argue for my 10,000 proposal, because it is feasible and far from being fiscally irresponsible. Magkano po ba ang kabuang budget para sa chok allowance sa ngayon? Base sa kasalukuyang 3-5 kada guro, 2.9 billion pesos. The simple arithmetic is that if we increase it to 5,000, it will only entail an additional 1.25 billion pesos. If we raise it to 10,000, we will be needing another 5.4 billion. Chok das lang po ito in this era of the mega trillion annual government expenditures. Compare the 5.4 billion to this year's 17.2 billion travel budget for the national government personnel. Teaching supplies allowance is not an expenditure, but investment, an investment that yields the highest social and economic ROI. In closing, let me remind you that the chalk allowance is to teachers as what bullets are to soldiers. And those waging the war against illiteracy need more of this type of ammunition. If we are not asking our soldiers to buy their own bullets, then why should we be forcing our teachers to buy their own provisions in fighting illiteracy? Thus, I urge you, my dear colleagues, to approve this bill, hopefully with the amended amount of 10000 This is not a case of us being generous, but us giving the teachers what is rightfully theirs. Maraming salamat, Mr. President.